well now I remember another thing as far as weird things if you want to hear that I many years ago like almost 20 years ago 97 well 15 years ago I, I, I did a tour with <laughs> Glenn Hughes and I was just thinking of, of that re very recently because I had like a Sony Walkman a CD player Sony Walkman that I borrowed from Mats and it it got destroyed somehow, I can't remember why, but for some strange reason I put it in my bass drum, this CD player, and I was, I didn't bother, so I did a couple of gigs with this CD player in my bass drum, just going around in my bass drum, that was just something I realized, how could that happen, how, 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 why didn't I take it out, that seems to be weird, but um, I just kept it there, so you know, back in the drum case, <laughs> like this, and next time up again. And I don't, I don't think any of the sound engineers really saw the CD player, the Walkman there, but it stayed in my bass drum for the for a couple of days or weeks. That's different. Was I think. <laughs> no, it was no battery left, I think, and it got it got destroyed. But uh, what else? very long time ago when I was maybe 12 or 13 we were in the music school and we went to, uh, to to do a concert with the music school all the students and the drums got left in the music school so I had no drums and I remember that I put up the drums like in um, I sort of I had my snare and my cymbals I w there was like a bush around the, the, the close to where we were playing so I put sticks in the, in the ground and put the cymbals up like that and I was sitting in the hole with my snare drum and you know stuff like that has happened which is also i guess different from a normal gig Routine. well that happened actually when we when i was at the school in um, in los angeles called um, lama l-a-m-a -A. during my clinic i was playing and the the, the thing that holds the symbol was gone and i was kind of playing under the symbol and suddenly I realized if I continue doing this the symbol will fall out and I kind of yeah why not you know and then it just fall down on the floor toms and then it ended up just in between the bass drum pedal and the head of the bass drum so suddenly my 24 bass drum first it sounded boom and then suddenly it sounded like like that only you know and I used it, it was quite nice and uh, you know, it's uh, stuff like that can happen and then you, it's nice if you can use it for, um, if you can make a musical meaning out from it, I think. And that happened also, now I, well, I'm talking oh, about, because uh, <laughs> uh, a couple of months ago I, I was, you know, going to, in my hometown, I was going to this place where you throw, um, um, what do you say, the, the trash, you, you throw metal in this coffin and the plastic there, and there was a guitar there, it was a, a family, and they opened up their bus and they were about to throw a guitar, and I, I couldn't help see that guitar, and I, I said, are you really going to throw that? Yeah, you can have it, you know, I think they were in divorce or something, everything was just going, you know, like that, so I, I took it, and I, I brought it home, and then I, I put it between my bass drum pedal again and the head of the bass drum. So and I removed all the strings besides the E string. So when I when I kick when I hit the bass drum, it, the 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 beater hit the actual body of the the guitar, but the body of the guitar was also touching the head of the drum. So I get the attack from the guitar and the sustain from the string, but also the sound of the bass drum and then I put a fuzz uh, like a distorted plug you know just a plug in my, in my Pro Tools so I get distorted sound and I, I, I recorded and it sounded uh, really really cool you know and, and I did a f little mixing of it and uh, I will uh, do something with this actually I did and, and the funny thing was I got an email from Tommy Lee <laughs> In Motley Crue, you know the drum from Motley Crue, and because he got us, he got to see the video, and he emailed me like, uh, "Oh, dude, that guitar bass drum fucking rules here." He wrote, <laughs> "That was kind of uh, unexpected, but um, 
here is like um, I, I will I will I will show it to you. I will play it so you can hear because this was really different, and uh, I will use it on my upcoming recordings. Yesterday night we played in this town in this little pub and uh, during the bass player's solo after a while I just felt I'm gonna join you know so I started to join him and it was just an impulse from me it wasn't something we agreed at all we didn't talk about it but then when I started to play I can I heard that he was going with me and then he started to scream in the microphone and that's just crazy that so uh, it almost scared the people you know in the in the room it wasn't weird in that sense but you know sometimes stuff happens just like that you don't plan anything and i like these moments a lot when stuff happens by itself without planning it because it usually music can be some extra level of magic there sometimes i think but but still i mean playing music live when you do that together with people and you manage to create a, a strong vibe with the with the music and you feel that it's creating a, a joy for the people who is there and listening that's very powerful I think that music in fact is really a powerful source music is important in that sense because it can actually change people's lives in the mental state way I mean soul and the spirit and uh, I mean if you cut off your leg it won't help if you go to a concert the, the leg won't come back but uh, I think that whatever it's about emotions and feelings music can really make a difference it, it did for me it, it, it when I grew up I, I wouldn't have um, been the same if I wouldn't have access to all this great music you know you put headphones on and you were listen to Alan Holsworth's chords and the harmonies that he plays it's it opens up a new reality I think and it's it's really it's strong it's it's some it's a, a state of being and it's somewhere you can be in in a mental in a spiritual way